How's it going guys? This is James from Butler Farms. As you can see, I'm up in the shop today working on a little project that I told you about uh, a little while back. Um, as I showed you in my seed starting uh, videos with the equipment, I have heating pads and I have grow lights and I have the trays that I start my, my spring and summer crops in and um, they just sit up here all winter long and there's not really a lot that they do. And so I thought that uh, this year I would experiment a little bit with something that traditionally I've had a lot of trouble with, and that is herbs and um, things like that. Now, this is an unheated shop, um, and so it's rather chilly up here this afternoon. But uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Uh, most of these seeds that I've gotten as far as uh, these herbs go, um, have been given to me or uh, were free in some form. Some of them I have bought. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit that I grow a lot of summer vegetables. I grow uh, a lot of garden type vegetables, but um, I've, I've tried unsuccessfully many times to, to grow herbs and to um, <clears throat> in several different ways. I've tried them in the ground. Um, kind of as an herb garden. I have tried them in uh, pots and in raised beds and just never had a lot of success. So I've got these seeds. Um, some of them are getting uh, kind of old. So I thought, well, I'd just go ahead and see if I could do something with them uh, up here on the heat mats and under the lights, uh, maybe be able to grow some during the winter. Um, I don't know that it'll work. Uh, it, it, being that this is an unheated shop, even though they're on heat mats i i just don't know uh if it's going to be warm enough for them to germinate um and to be able if they do germinate to do uh well but we'll see so let me get the camera turned around here and i'll show you uh what we've uh what we're planting up here all right so these uh seeds of change were given to me they were um um part of uh, a class project I think at the local high school and they had a lot of seeds left over and so um, I was able to get some of them now as you can see these are uh, evergreen bunching onions um, I uh, am going to plant two different trays of those and the trays are the, are the black trays that I'll show you in just a minute that I showed you in the former video um, but I'm going to plant two trays of those now these are Chinese chives uh, never tried them. Uh, this was a free pack as you can see there on the front um, This comes from Baker Creek and when you make an order to Baker Creek of a certain level uh, I don't remember right offhand how much that is They do give you a free pack of seeds and this was one of them uh, this a uh, couple of years ago now And I've never tried them in any form. So I don't know um, How they'll work, but we're gonna give them a shot uh, next, I've got some basil. Now, some of this, uh, obviously, I bought. Uh, you can see that was from 2022. And here's some more of the seeds of change uh, from that class project that's also sweet basil. So I'm going to try both of those and see how it goes. A uh, little cilantro here, again, from 2022. And finally, I've got some Italian flat leaf parsley. Now, again, I know um, that it's going to be pretty tough to get them to come up here and to um, be able to do well, especially uh, in this unheated environment. But as I said, I've got them and uh, I just, you know, I want to uh, be able to use them. And being that I've been unsuccessful in every other way uh, doing them, then I thought I would uh, give this a shot. Now, as you can see, this is one of my planting trays, and yes, that is um, plastic wrap over the top of them. This is what I do normally with my um, seed starts in the spring, in the early spring when I put them in here. I will go ahead and put um, plastic wrap over the top of it. It makes kind of a, a greenhouse effect uh, to them, and it is always, uh, since I started doing this, I actually saw this in somebody else's YouTube video, and since I started doing this, um, I've had a lot of success uh, getting um, some tougher seeds that are that generally um, are pretty tough to get up, uh, especially um, to plant out as seedlings to germinate. So um, it definitely has helped my, my germination rate. Um, and 
Um, so I figured why not? It will help keep some of the heat in uh, from those heating pads and um, we'll see how it goes. Um, once, once they do germinate and start breaking through, I will remove, um, I will remove this plastic wrap um, and uh, uh, turn the lights on on them and put them into the uh, bins where I will water them from the bottom and I'll bring you along on that if I can get them to come up. Now, from there, they're going over here to the rack. You can see I've already got one up there and the one that I've got up there is the flat leaf parsley. Now, um, I've got the, I normally don't use these little uh, wooden popsicle sticks um, because uh, when I put them uh, in the soil, uh, they fade pretty quickly. Um, they absorb water. It's been a big mess over the years. I have some different um, tags that I use on my spring and um, summer vegetables that I start in here. But as you can see, I've got them uh, wired up here so that they're not going to be in the soil. This You can see that this one uh, has the plastic wrap on it as well. Now I did come in, this is where um, the cilantro that I just showed you over on the table is going to go. Now I've only plugged up the top three rows of heating pads. I did that beforehand to go ahead and get them warmed up and they are, um, they are uh, warm. Um, I don't know again in this unheated uh, environment out here if they're going to be warm enough. We'll see. Um, I was looking here on uh, some of them and you can see that uh, the range of these is anywhere between uh, 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And normally um, in the uh, late winter, early spring, especially here in central Alabama, uh, it, it's warm enough, especially uh, during the day, uh, plus the heating pads to get good germination for my spring and summer. Uh, crops to come up in here, but uh, it has been really really cold here lately and um, So I just don't know if the air temperature around it if these heating pads are going to be able to overcome that But um, I will be putting six trays up here as you can see the cilantro that I just showed you is getting ready to go right there I need to tighten up that plastic on it and I'm running out of time today. I've got a, another uh, Something else I've got to go to tonight to be able um, uh, and so I won't be able to finish them tonight. I do already have my my potting mix that I make in four other trays. And what I'm going to do is, uh, even though I'm not going to plant them tonight, uh, simply because I don't have time, these seeds on these herbs, as, as you probably already know, are extremely small. And uh, they are very time consuming to be able to plant. I will show you, let me get back over here on the table. One of the things that I found that is really helpful is uh, these little cedars. Now they can be very frustrating uh, because uh, even when you turn them, you, you can turn this dial and it allows a, uh, you to adjust the size of the hole uh, that the seeds come out of. And even if you think you've got it small enough, sometimes they just pour out of there and then you have to uh, manually uh, move the seeds yourself. So these seeds are extremely small and it's very time consuming to do this, but it's just something that I'm going to experiment with and see uh, how they go. Now, um, I don't really know um, as far as success rate goes, even if I can get them up, um, even if I can get them to germinate, I don't know um, if they will ever reach their full potential. But um, as I said, most of these seeds were free. Most of them are getting um, a couple of years on them now and I need to do something with them and trust me that these are just a few of the ones that I have so uh, even if it doesn't work I will uh, um, uh, take this uh, potting mix that I make and I will put it back into um, I'll put it back into um, the pile and kind of uh, rejuvenate it and use it again in the spring so there's really no loss here um, and it's just fun to experiment with and see if I can actually get some herbs to grow um, uh, something that I have uh, admittedly uh, not done well over the years but I'm still trying I'll figure it out sooner or later and um, be able to um, provide that for my family as well so 
I'm going to uh, get back to work here and uh, see if I can get at least one more of them done before I have to leave. And uh, uh, when I get through with getting all, all of them up here, I will um, come back and show you what the finished product looks like. So I want to thank you for being here with me at Butler Farms, and um, I will see you next time.